Hi students, welcome back to this video. Today we are going to discuss the new lesson quality from your honeycomb book chapter 5. Okay, the lesson, the title of the lesson is quality. If you look at the word quality, it is a very familiar word which we use in our day to day life. Okay, for example, if you go for, uh, for outing and you buy something, you would expect that could be that a particular thing should be the maximum quality. If it is not there, you won't go for it. Okay, so quality is the word which is very familiar to every one of us. So today we are going to uh, discuss about the word quality and the lesson, particularly the lesson quality. Okay, how the quality is important in anything and everything. Okay, so before you read, can a shoemaker be called an artist? So the lesson starts with the question. What is that question? Can a shoemaker uh, be called an artist? Yes, of course. The answer is that. Yes. And also gives the reason. If he has the same skill and pride in his trade as any other artist and the same respect for it too. So artists are respected in this society highly okay for example who is called who, who are called as an artist uh, for example the uh, those who are drawing pictures making drawings paintings and also the acting in dramas the people those uh, who are acting in dramas are in movies also called uh, called as artist so artists are um, rated very highly in the society so uh, here the question is can a shoemaker the man who makes the shoe can be called an artist the answer also given here yes why if he has the same skill okay artist need a skill need artist needs skill if you want to paint the picture you need skill if you want to act in drama or a cinema you need skill if that skill if you uh, that pride if you have in your trade or uh, you will that you will be called as an artist so that's it. that is what the author wants to tell us okay see if he has the same skill and pride in his trade as any other artist and the same respect for it too okay if you saw the pride and skill definitely that would be called an artist mr gessler a german shoemaker settled in london is a perfect artist here we are going to discuss about one artist mr gessler okay he is uh, basically from german but he is settled in london okay he is a perfect artist okay in spite of he is a shoemaker he is perfect artist read this story to see how he devotes his life to his art he devotes his life for making shoes so he is he is a perfect artist as i told you before if you saw the pride and skill in any trade you will be called as an artist here mr gessler the german a german shoemaker settled in london is a perfect artist read the story to see how he devotes his life to his art quality i knew him from the days of my extreme youth here I refers to whom? I refers to the author. Let us see who is the author. John Galsworthy. Okay. John Galsworthy shares his experience from the in the lesson quality. Okay. Simplified and abridged. Okay. 
he is the author and he has uh, written this lesson quality and slightly modified okay uh, according to the subject uh, according to the grade level the whole lesson has been abridged or simplified so here i refers to john gasworthy i knew him from the days of my extreme youth i refers to the author him refers to mr gisler author knew the person the shoemaker mr gisler when he was young okay how he knew how he came to know how he exactly uh, the person mr gisler known by this author i knew him from the days of my extreme youth because he made my father's boots okay i know this person very well because he made my father's boot so i knew him since long he lived with his elder brother in his shop which was in a small by street in a fashionable part of london okay he had a shop uh, which is in a small by street in a fashionable part of london as i told you he is a german basically but settled in london he ha he is uh, having a trade uh, selling shoes okay it's a very small shop i knew that person mr gessler when i was young because he made my father's boots the shop had a certain quiet distinction if you look at the uh, shoe shops normally you if you go outing you would see many uh, chapel and shoe shops if you see there will be a common things but here the shop had a certain quiet distinction distinction mean some differences okay it is uh, not looking like a normal shop there is some difference there is some difference that there, there is some difference what is that difference the shop had a certain quiet distinction there was no sign upon it other than the name of kessler brothers there won't be a board okay if you go uh, go outings you would you would see many uh, sign up sign, uh, shine board sign okay but here the uh, there won't be anything like that the shop had a certain quiet distinction there was no shine sign upon it other than the name of gessler brothers there is only one uh, one thing which is gessler brother apart from that nothing will be written anything on the board the shop had a certain quiet distinction there was no sign upon it other than the name of gessler brothers and in the window a few pairs of boots okay so in the shop there is one window in the in the window he kept few pairs of boots okay gessler gessler have kept some pairs of boots he made only what was ordered if you go to the shoe shop you would see many chapels shoes or decorated in the showcase but here in this particular shop gessler's shop it won't be like that okay if you order something you would make it and give it to you okay he made only what was ordered based upon order he would do that if there is no order he won't do it he won't make it so he is the person mr gessler is a good shoemaker called an artist he his shop is something different from others there won't be any sign but gessler brother except the word gessler brothers there won't be anything he made only what was ordered and what he made never failed to fit okay if you order he would do it once he does it it won't be fail okay what he made never failed to fit okay to make boots such boots as he made 
seemed to me then and still seems to me mysterious and wonderful to make boots such boots as he made seemed to me then and still seems to me mysterious and wonderful i remember well my shy remarks one day while stretching out to him my youthful foot isn't it awfully hard to do mr gisler and his answer given with a sudden smile from out of the redness of his beard it is not it is on earth okay see i remember well my shy remarks i said something in a very shy manner one day while stretching out to him my youthful foot so uh, before he so if you order something he would make if if you don't uh, if, if there is no order he won't he would not make anything so the uh, author goes to the shop one day and he stretched his youthful foot to gessler with the shy and he asked something is it awfully hard to do mr gessler when he stretch his foot he raised a question isn't it awfully hard to do mr gessler romba kashtama illaya appo solli kekkra yaar author to the gessler okay and his answer given with a sudden smile from out of the redness of his beard it is on earth so it is an ad okay but his accent as he as he is a german basic his accent would be something different from english people okay because he basically from german and settled in london so his english uh, could be something different his accent would be different so it is on earth okay that is what he pronounced the word sentence it is an art see it is an art said with a german accent it was not possible to go to him very often his boots lost it terribly i don't go to his shop so frequently why you know why because once he made some uh, once he made it won't Uh, give any trouble okay it would be lasting for long okay romba nalaki avaru and avaru uraki kudutha avaru thayarichu kudutha and chapel irukku le su or chapel romba nalaki varum it was not possible to go to him very often his boots lasted terribly okay romba nalaki vandich lasted na lasted very long lasted terribly means lasted very long romba nalaik varu it was not possible to go to him very often his boots lasted terribly having something see this is the shop there is a window very few pairs of boots there is no any uh, advertisement or board only gessler brothers okay beyond the temporary some essence of foot stitch into them so as i told you uh, the boot boots lasted very long because some essence of food boot stitched into them okay some something um different from others okay because he does sit very uh, very carefully where he, he devoted his life okay he devoted his life for making chappals a uh, shoe okay boots some essence of boot stitched into them one went in not as into most shops but restfully as one enters a church and sitting on the single wooden chair waited one went in suppose if you go if you go to that shop you have to sit that for long see one went in not as into most shops it won't be like some other shop 
but restfully as one enters a church if you go to if you enter a church what kind of feeling you would have the same feeling will be created if you go to the mr gessler shop okay and sitting on the single wooden chair that would that uh, that is that would be one chair it is uh, made, made out of wood and you would be sitting there okay you have to sit there and waiting a guttural sound and the tip tap of his slippers beating the narrow wooden stairs and he would stand before one without coat a guttural sound a guttural sound means hoarse and grating okay hoarse and grating sound once uh, why he was um, going up or down coming down the sound it creates because of the a guttural sound okay and the tip tap of his slippers beating the narrow guttural means harsh and grating okay harsh harsh sound you could hear harsh sound when you sit in the wooden chair wooden bench a guttural sound and the tip tap of his slippers he wore, he wore a slipper he wore slippers the beating the narrow wooden stairs wooden stairs and he would stand before one without coat a little bent in leather up apron with the sleeves turned back blinking as if awakened from some dream of boots see here description about gessler how how does he look like gessler how he looks like he would stand before one without coat a little bent in leather apron with sleeves turned back blinking as if awakened some dream of boots okay he always think about boots okay so just awaken from the dream he would be like he would be looking like that okay if you see see this is apron the one who wears the mr gessler this is this is the man who is gessler here is the author so he his sleeves rolled up and he wore apron little bent this is the description of these are the description of the man mr gessler okay this is his job see the wooden stair he wore slippers guttural sound this sound when he moves up or coming down it would give guttural harsh and i would say how do you do mr gessler could you make me a pair of russian leather boots then i would say i would ask him how do you do how are you mr gessler because i knew him uh, very well so i just i just i wanted to make uh, comfort comfortness and i i make i made a question how do you do mr gessler i inquired him about his health how do you do mr gessler could you make me a pair of russian leather boots without a word he would leave me retiring when he came or into other portion of the shop see so i asked him to make russian leather boots without a word he would leave me okay he did not speak anything and he leave me retiring he uh, asked me to wait there when he came or into the other portion of the shop and i would continue to rest in the wooden chair inhaling the incense of his trade incense means the smell of leather is compared to the smell of incense in a church so as i told you the feeling if you are in the shop it would it, it the feeling you will you will be having uh, like when you are in the church okay when you are in the ch in ch inside the church 
what kind of feeling you would have the same feeling would be created when you inside the shop okay so incense are incense give you smell some good smell okay here the smells of boots will give you the same condition as you are having a same experience when you are having in the church and i would continue to rest in the wooden chair inhaling this incense of his trade soon he would come back holding in his hand a piece of gold brown leather because i asked him to make a russian boot russian leather boot so he hold, holding in his hand a piece of gold brown leather okay gold brown leather so as i told you before he would do something only based on the order based upon the order if you don't order he won't okay you, you cannot go and buy if you want something if you want uh, uh, if you want to have something you before that you would intimate him you would inform him you would order him okay based upon the order only he would do the boots so here the author came there to order one russian type of boots okay holding in his hand a piece of gold brown leather with the eyes fixed on it he would remark what a beautiful beast okay what a beautiful beast so because it is a german slang see actually it should be beautiful piece p i e c e but the uh, letter b is used instead of p okay beautiful t d okay so what a beaut beautiful beast when i too had admired it he showed one leather which is gold brown in color and he his eyes fixed on it he is looking on it looking on the leather and said something about that uh, leather he made some remarks what is that remark what a beautiful beast when i too had admired it he also admired mr gestler also admired he made some remark about that leather because i wanted to make a russian um, boot and he brought some leather and made some remark what a beautiful piece i too had admired okay i when i too had admired it he would speak again when do you want them when do you want them i would answer oh as soon as you conveniently can when you want that okay i this is the piece this is the leather which i am going to make a boot for you as you asked to make a russian boot okay this is the leather which i am going to use okay it is a good uh, it is a good piece beautiful piece i also admire when do you want this okay this is the piece piece which i am going to make when do you want it and i said as soon as you conveniently can okay and he would say tomorrow fourth night tomorrow fourth night or if he were his elder brother i will ask my brother okay or if he were his elder brother i will ask my brother he had a brother as i as we discussed earlier he had brother i will do that or else i will ask my brother to do that then i would murmur thank you good morning mr gestler good morning he would reply still looking at the leather in his hand so he was very devoted in his uh, business once i said good morning he would reply good morning and still looking at the leather in his hand okay the leather which he brought to show me that is the leather which he is going to use to make a boot for a barak boot for me okay russian boot and as i moved to the door i would hear the tip tap of his slippers going up the stairs 
so he is he is going to start the start of making the boots so again tip tap tip tap sound because he is going upwards okay to his dream of boots so this is the star again tip tap sound once i am leaving okay i cannot forget i cannot forget the day on which i had occasion to see him uh, to, to say him okay i cannot forget the day on which i had occasion to say to him mr gisler that last pair of boots creaked you know 